Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dyes, and I'm going to show you how to install shooting strings in your stick. So there's three things you want to think about when you're getting ready to do shooting strings. First is the type, second is the placement, and third is the quantity. And by type I mean what type of shooters you want. So you can either have straight shooters that just go straight across the head in a straight line, you can have V's that come up from the bottom and come to a point, or you can have U's which are just like V's but they come up and they round off a little bit and come back down. Now straight shooters are going to create the least whip, but also the smoothest release. Then V's are going to have a little bit more whip, and finally U's will have the most whip, but also they'll add the most hold. Second, you want to think about the placement of your shooting strings. So that means how high or low in the head your shooting strings are. So if you have the shooting strings that start higher in the head and go down a little further, that's going to have less whip. But if you start the shooting strings down a little further in the head, closer to where your pocket is, that's going to have more whip. And finally, you want to think about how many shooting strings you want. Usually I recommend around three to four shooting strings in any head. Any more, and you're going to have way too many. More shooting strings creates a slow release, but also a much smoother release. Fewer shooting strings will create a quicker release, but also more whip. Alright, so for a straight across shooting string, you want to pick the hole you want to start with. Usually, if I do a nine diamond top string, I like to start with the first 9 diamond row down, so that's this one right here, you can see this whole right here would be the 10 diamond, that's the next diamond, 10 diamond, so right in the middle is the 9 diamond row. So you want to start out by going in through the outside, down between the sidewall string and the lacrosse head. And it's important to anchor your sidewall strings, or your shooting strings to the sidewall, so they have something to pull on, and they actually create some tension. So you go in there and then you're going to go up through the bottom of that first 9 diamond hole and then down through the top of the next one. So you're just going to go and weave it all the way through that and make sure you stay on that same row all the way across just going up under from the bottom and then down from the top weaving it and it's very important that you don't skip one on the weave and you go in and out of every one so if you do, your shooting string will be uneven, make your stick throw unevenly. So just continue all the way across, going up from the back of the head, up and under, and then down from the top of the head, down and through. And then finally, once you get to the end, make sure you remember to put that string down between the sidewall hole, or between the sidewall string and the actual head so that it anchors it down. So now you've got it going one way across and you end up with this slack that comes out of the front of the head and you want to bring it back across and weave it. And the key to making your shooting string lay flat here is to keep this flat as you string it. So you want to alternate going top to bottom. So for the first one, I'll show you real close, we're going to come through, up and under, over the top of that first lace. Then for the next one, we'll go down through the back on the bottom side of that next lace. So you can see here's a lace, I'm going to pull it up a little bit and put it in that gap right there under it. And so you can see once you pull it tight, it lays nice and flat. And then go the same way, you can see pull that down and put the string right above it so it comes out like that. And then the next one right below that string. So you want to alternate front to back, top and bottom, make sure to keep it even all the way, and string it all the way across. Making sure you keep that shooting string flat the whole time. And don't worry about it being too loose because you can always go back and take some attention out of the end. So there is the complete shooting string. You can go back and just pull on each string to take some of the tension out. And remember, you want your shooting strings to start tight at the top and gradually get looser as they go down. So this top shooting string should be the very tightest, next one a little looser, next one a little looser, and finally the bottom one should be the loosest. So it creates a nice gradual smooth release for the ball to come out on. Alright guys, so now I've got two straight shooting strings installed, and now we're going to install a U to add a little bit of hold and a little bit of whip. So first you want to decide what row your U's going to be on. So you can see I've got one shooting string here, then I skipped a row, then another shooting string here. 
So I'm going to skip another row and put my U through here. So you want to make sure it's nice and centered. So you want to follow that uh, very center diamond on your top string all the way down to the row you're going to be stringing on. So you can see this diamond right here is the very middle of the row I'll be stringing on. And I'm going to do a three diamond wide U. Um, the wider, and that means the number of diamonds across at the top that you will be, uh, the wider it is, the more whip it'll have, the narrower it is, the less whip it have. So I'll do uh, three diamonds across just so that it's right in the middle and it's not going to have too much whip. So you can see here's the middle diamond. So I'm going to go, it's going to be these three, one, two, three. And so I'll take this diamond right here and the U is going to go down along this row of diamonds. So I'm going to follow it all the way down to where it's going to start on the side wall. So it's this row of diamonds right here and you can see if you follow it you'll end up back at that uh, third hole. So just like we did for the straight, you're going to anchor it to the side wall by first putting the string in um, by first putting the string in through the side wall, between the side wall and the actual plastic of the head. And it's just like you do with the straight shooters, only you're going to be going on an angle. So you're going to go up through the bottom of that first mesh hole and then down through the top of the next. And you're just going to follow that diagonal line all the way up to that uh, that row of three that we wanted to string the U through. So just like the uh, the straights, up and back. And then, when you get to the top, see this is going to be the top of the U right here. And you can see that was that center diamond we picked out. And it's this throw, row of three right here. You're going to turn and just go straight across, just like you would a straight, covering those three diamonds. And then you're going to go back down on a diagonal, just like we did on the other side, all the way to the side wall. Make sure you stay on that straight diagonal line. You don't want to stray away from it or else it end up crooked. So then you get down to the side wall, anchor it down just like we did before. And now you see we've got the basic shape of what our U is going to be. And you can see that it is three diamonds across the top just like we wanted. So now we're going to go back and double it over and weave it through just like we did with the, uh, with the straight shooters. So you've got the the shooting string on the inside of the head. You're going to go through the back and over that shooting string like that. And again, just take your finger, create a little gap under the shooting string like so, and go back in and under it. Just like that. And then up to the next one. So just follow that original line we've made all the way through go in over and under and make sure to not over tighten it because if you over tighten it it's really going to hook in there and it's not going to release the ball to whip way too much Alright, so when you're finished, just tie off a little knot at the end. I like to leave the knots relatively loose until I get outside and I get to play with it and throw around a little bit. And one thing I like to do to really lock in where I like the shooting strings is actually leave them untied on the ends, go out, play some wall wall with it, let them loosen up to just where I like them, and then after I do that, I tie them off and tie them real tight and get them locked in the position where I want them to be. Alright guys, so now you know how to string the shooting strings in your head. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the Lacrosse Network for more daily lacrosse clips and more tutorials hosted by East Coast Dyes. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel, East Coast Dyes, and find the Lacrosse Network on Facebook. Thanks for watching.